this is going to be your guys' first drive in the uh, little blue Chevy. The lawn care truck, I mean, this thing has run awesome so far. No issues. It's been good for the guys. It gives them something to run that's not one of my nice trucks. And it's just been like start and go, run it all day, no issues. I mean, just, just awesome. So we're gonna take this on over to the property, my parents' property. They need some lawn maintenance done over there. Things are kind of out of hand over there because of all this chaotic weather we've been having. It's just not been like top priority to mow, you know, around the fields and trails and stuff like that. But so Reagan and I, we kind of like, you know, hanging out and mowing and stuff now and she's she knows how to use the zero turns now I taught her how to use the zero turns pretty easy and she enjoys doing it so we're gonna go over to the land um, to my parents property and get some mowing done I think it'll be kind of fun well we arrived got little miss Reagan over there pulling the mower off this little truck I gotta say guys like probably like I don't know we probably put 800 miles on this truck now most of those miles not being me but this thing has been awesome like super quiet super comfortable smooth I mean, it's been a blast it's been a blast pulls really good like no problem at all with this little you know load of two zero turns and a 14 foot trailer and all the equipment in the bed it's been an awesome little truck four wheel drive and everything works great but anyways we're gonna get this other mower unloaded and we're gonna get to the mowing back around the property man this feels weird using this GoPro here we are, trying to cross this river here, which ain't no problem. We've done it a bunch of times already today, but we've got a little bit of a tree problem. And the guys are supposed to be cutting the hay here soon. And so I gotta take care of this tree before they have to try to do something about it when they're under a time crunch with the weather. So I use my mower here, one of my zero turns. Reagan's on the other one. She's trying to do some mowing maintenance over on the other side of that tree line there. Um, she's been an awesome help. She's always helping me out. But so we've got um, we've got the chainsaw here, fuel, oil, all that stuff. And what we've actually got to do is take this tree here. And what happened was I don't know if you guys remember, but I I filmed a mudding video back here with the first gen. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember. It was right down in here and I had my fifth gen up here pulling that first gen out of that mud pit. Dang, that freaking huge tree is leaning over like it's about to freaking fall any minute. And you can see kind of the mud marks where the fifth gen was. And I remember saying, now we're not gonna spend much time underneath this tree because if it falls, it's gonna fall right in this general area. So basically after about 10 minutes of trying to pull, I'm like, we're just gonna move the truck. I don't like that idea. Um, just because I just didn't like the way this tree looked up here, almost, you know, falling down. So here it is. We came across the creek to do some farm maintenance and mow along these fields so these guys can get in here and get their farm equipment back here and this tree is down. So what we're gonna be doing here is actually just going and starting from kind of some of these more overhanging limbs right here. We're just gonna start cutting it in sections that are just big enough to lift up and move and just cutting them out of the way until we can get as much of this tree as possible cut down before we start working our way down towards the base of that bigger branch right there. I have to say this, don't try this at home and don't just, you know, go grab your dad's chainsaw and go out to the woods and say you're a lumberjack and start doing crap. And I'm working with what I've got. I've got chaps and I've got, you know, um, ear protection so I don't lose my hearing because this chainsaw is wicked loud. It's a custom built steel chainsaw. And so the thing freaking rips. It sounds like a dirt bike. So I'm gonna set up my GoPro on my mower probably. And we're just gonna get to ripping on this tree and hopefully we can get some of it knocked out.
got actually recorded or not, but we got a lot of it cut up. The only stuff that I haven't messed with, obviously, is the higher stuff, the really big stuff. And then I was like, once I cut this one little section up down here and move these logs, we can at least get past it to mow. And the freaking saw got stuck on the last log that I had to cut before we get over there. So I'm trying to work on getting that unstuck right now and hopefully we can actually get that out and get this all cleaned up. Well, we're not mowing much anymore, fam. In fact, if you can see me through this Casper lighting, we're actually taking the Chevy back, the lawn care truck to save the day, hopefully. I've got a chainsaw pinched in a tree and the tree's cut all the way through. In fact, when you kick it, it vibrates a little bit. But we don't have a tractor, we don't have an ATV here, the mowers definitely don't have any power at all. So that's, that wouldn't even be worth attempting. So we're gonna take the Chevy back here, put a chain around the tree next to the saw, and hopefully we can pull that tree just loose enough to drop the saw out and call it a day. So let's see if this works, I don't know. What are, what are your bets, Reagan? Think it's gonna work or not? I don't know, but last time we went through this I had bad <laughs> a bad uh, experience so it's kind of making me nervous just taking any truck by the river <laughs> so we're gonna put it over four high and this four wheel drive as far as i know has worked really good i've used it only one other time and it just locked in like that and it was good it worked now this truck i've never taken it off the road yeah i didn't do a ditch like this yet so, we'll see how this goes. So far, so good. About to find out if we can get the saw out or not. It's cut all the way through, like I said. It's just a matter of getting this loose enough so we can get the one inch of saw blade that's stuck unstuck. This is either going to go terribly well or terribly bad. <laughs> Here we go. I stand out in front of the truck. My Dodge couldn't have done that, just saying. That's some bow tie stuff right there. Chainsaws, chains, pulling trees, saving lives. That's a Chevy thing, just so you know. And just for last, we're gonna see how far we can pull this tree. This might be a bad idea, but it's gotta be a risk you're willing to take for clickbait, you know what I'm saying? I'm also not willing to break the guy's lawn care truck so that they can't work for me tomorrow. So, just for you boys, I'm not gonna do anything else. In terms of this getting cleared, that was it. That's what we needed to do. I wouldn't go playing tag and hide and seek around this thing, because it could probably fall a little bit more and crack at any time. But, for the most part, we got it at least cleaned up a little bit. Chainsaw is running low on fuel. We don't really have much more. We have maybe another half little tank of chainsaw fuel left and that's out. But we did at least get most of this out of the way. So I'm probably gonna cut this one last limb up just so it's gone. And, but other than that, Chevy Power Fam, that's what I'm talking about.
Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I know it was kind of different. This is kind of like old school LNP work vlog content. Stuff that we have not done in a very, very, very long time. But hopefully guys enjoyed that. Just kind of like a little flashback into the past of kind of like what we kind of did, which was just this kind of stuff. It's just what I did instead of truck stuff at the time because I just didn't have much truck stuff to do that I could afford to do. So this is what I did. So if you guys want to know what we used to do on Loud and Proud, another little dose of it right here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to enter to win the blue truck. No, not this one. I'm giving away a compound turbo 12 valve Cummins, the cleanest second gen you will ever lay eyes on. I promise you that. Check it out, information in the description below. Every $15 gets you another automatic entry to win that truck and you could be taking home an absolute jump. Thank you guys so much. You guys are running out of time. I think about 25 days left until the last day to enter that giveaway. Do not miss out. Leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.